Lipica in Slovenia is the home of the white horse known as the Lipican. It has been immortalized in numerous books and films and is one of the most famous breeds in the world. People recognize them from their appearances at the renowned Spanish riding school of Vienna. The school is the pinnacle of high equestrian art. This form of classical dressage is extremely demanding on the horses, which are always stallions. It's ballet on horseback. During the Habsburg Empire, watching the Lipitanas perform was considered the height of entertainment. Aristocrats and courtiers gathered in their most beautiful clothes to see and be seen. Now the performances are open to everyone. It's easy to understand why a Lipizzana was such a prized possession and status symbol. The history of the white horses began more than 400 years ago when the needs of the Austrian nobility and the new riding school demanded the breeding of a new type of horse. So Archduke Karl, son of Emperor Ferdinand, founded a new stud farm at Lipizza. He imported Andalusian stallions from Spain and crossed them with the local cast horses. Slovenia became part of Yugoslavia after the First World War. And after World War II, most of its celebrated Lipizzaner herd was moved west to Austria. Slovenia remained part of the Yugoslav Federation until achieving independence peacefully in 1991. Eight years later, the Ministry of Agriculture declared the Lipizzaner horses an indigenous Slovenian breed and a national treasure. This caused consternation in Austria which also claims the Lipizzana is part of its own cultural heritage. A legal muddle has ensued, in which both sides want to protect their interests. Well, there are very few, I would say, national things to speak about them. Being uh, the newest or this uh, youngest country in Europe, we had to see something what is really ours, and Lipizzana horses were really born in Slovenia, and why not to be proud on it? And why not to say that this is a national symbol? It's nonsense. The Austrians are reluctant to talk, but matters should improve when Slovenia joins the European Union. They know they are much more weak if we take into account the historical reasons. And therefore we think that Lipica should make a step forward towards the common, common solution. Back at the stud farm in the pizza, work has begun on improving the standards of both breeding and riding. There are currently 275 horses at the stud, but a new law has decreed that there should be at least 350, and in future the farm must pay its own way. Stud manager Janes Rus tries to find a balance between breeding horses quickly and producing animals of great quality. We like to understand that uh, the horses and Lipica are the part of our cultural uh, heritage and uh, we start to treat them as well this way. They are of uh, very good character and uh, I would say calm temperament. When they are in moving, when they work, then well, they are uh, quite uh, vivid, but on the other hand, one can always rely on these horses. I think it's uh, not only the um, uh, breed uh, um, um, characteristic, but that's also the consequence of the way of breeding we practice here. Separation and grouping, according to age and sex, are the essence of Lipica's breeding program. There are five breeding stallions kept in the oldest part of the stud. Foals are born black, only turning their trademark white four or five years later. After the first year with their mothers, the foals are all moved in together. The horses have to fit in and assert themselves in a natural hierarchy. By the time that the year-old foals are moved, the mares are usually pregnant again. Each group of horses is taken care of by a team of specially trained grooms. 
you can see the personality in the horse inside that and uh, with their eyes they speak to you you know they just they want to say it, oh come on in the morning especially in the morning oh come on Anna give me something to eat you know something goody goody <laughs> a young stallion faces a rigorous routine training starts when he's about four years old at first he's launched a method of improving his step without using saddle and rider Later on, the training becomes harder. Every stallion has to undergo six years of tough schooling before he's ready to perform. It takes a while to build up control as well as strength. Building a strong bond of trust and dependence between rider and horse is vital. The Lipizzaner horse has a good heart. And if the rider has a similar heart for the animal, then they'll fit together very well. They're very intelligent and temperamental. Horses. The stud is a big attraction for visitors. After the Iron Curtain came down, the pizza reopened to tourists and horse enthusiasts from all over the world. Now, around 100,000 people visit the stud each year. An increasing number, like Anna Gretril, also get the rare chance of actually riding a stallion. It is a very old stud, and it is very famous for classical riding, for the classical dressage style. Then there are the white horses. They really are something very special. The feats, as well as the history of these fairy tale horses, have been spectacular. The herd had to be moved around several times during the wars, which plagued the region. The Lipizzaner have often been on the verge of extinction, and now they're the cause of international controversy, but the popularity of the white horses endures.